I find it an interesting concept. I've been doing this for uh, over 36 years and have been involved in the design of over 50 condominium buildings in the city. And we're always faced with new challenges. Um, years ago, when I started, a one bedroom was 950 square feet. Now a one bedroom is 410 square feet. How does that work? Um, how do you make the suites work? And of course, we're talking about now the, the city planners, urban design, they want a bold statement in some of our buildings. So you start seeing some of the buildings that are designed from the outside in and you end up with a floor plate like this. And I think really what we need to stay uh, focused on is the living space and, and the people are actually living in these suites. And when we do design from the outside in, you end up with some space that as we're getting smaller space, it's not efficient space. And I think um, having to come, come across a lot of designs where we do want to look at, and I think what Pino showed is a lot of the elements on the exterior um, that we, we can make the designs work without touching the interiors. This uh, particular suite had a rounded um, design on the building, but at least the, the suite could still work with most of the rooms being squared off. We also see um, in, our, in our industry, and, and this is a building where instead of the whole building being rounded, the actual balconies were what was giving the effect and the interesting aspects of the um, elevation. So again, the interiors were left alone and the balconies were what made the building exciting. Um, I know that this building is, is also something, and I took these randomly from around the world, but it is uh, some bold statements, and how do we, again, design when we're trying to make efficient space out of 300, 400, 500 square feet. Our industry has been uh, very competitive in the last 10 years or so with over 300 condominium buildings on the market, and I know we've always tried to have one person get better than the other person for the buyer, the, the finishes where they used to be standard eight foot ceilings and carpeting and formica, now we have done almost everything you can on the interiors, nine foot ceilings, hardwood flooring, stainless steel, granite, which is now more the uh, quartz. So all of the finishes are amazing. Now going to the outside trying to make a statement, but again, this is what you end up with. How do you furnish a master bedroom and find a, a bed or a dresser that's gonna fit into that space? This is a, a, a building that, again, trying to be different, having a lot of um, elements that make the architecture interesting, but designing this building from the outside and then what you're gonna end up on the inside where people are gonna live and have to uh, live it an everyday life is, is a challenge. Um, here you see where those blocks can come out on the exterior, but on the interior, you're, you're faced with some awkward spaces again and, and waste of space. And as we know, in, in today's condominium sizes, there's no room for wasted space. So uh, when we are designing a two bedroom now at 600 square feet, and our two bedrooms used to be 1,200 square feet, there really is no room for any waste. This little block that was punched out because of that design has a, a one bedroom and two dens. Um, a very interesting, and I know one of the den is meant to be a bedroom, but because of the bylaws, there wouldn't have been enough light, even though it has a closet in it, so it was called a den. Um, this, this again, designed from the outside in, big bedroom, not really efficient use of space, very small kitchen, um, the bathroom with a walk-in double shower, but really, again, it's, it's not um, when it is directed from the outside ex exterior. Of course, we're trying to get a lot of interesting angles in our buildings here in, in Toronto, um, and really an interesting element from the outside. So again, just thinking about, from the outside it looks, it looks great, uh, and when you drive into your new condo and you see this exterior elevation, but again on the inside, trying to find um, furniture that fits into some of these very sharp angles um, is, is tough. So, my whole point on this and, and working in, in as many buildings I, as I have in the city of Toronto and watching the sizes go smaller and smaller to um, match with affordability is, is let's really just try to work with the architects and every architect I've worked with does come with this bold statement to the table and I always say, okay, what's going to happen to our floor plans? 
Um, so really keeping in mind to design the buildings from the inside out, looking at how the space can work from the inside, and how it can be furnished, and how it can be efficient, and how people can live in that space, and then still having an exterior with some interesting elements, but uh, protruding out from the exterior, so trying to keep the floor plate as square as possible, and having some design. This building, um, interesting to do sun drapery over there. I don't know how you would do drapes on this, uh, <laughs> this design, but it had a very jagged edge on the exterior, and it looked really interesting, but on the interior, not sure exactly how to do um, the window coverings. I, I, this one actually, um, you know probably from its 365 church that Mencas did, and it's a nice square, but at least it has some elements that um, give some fenestration to it and some architectural appeal. But at least with a building like this, you can design where this is only 630 square feet, two bedroom, you can make it work. A split, two bedroom, two bath, kitchen. Um, and, and you know, when you have the exterior and you have the outside elevation in more of a square um, form, you can certainly create better spaces. This one, it was only a 460 square foot one bedroom and den, but because this, the building design, again, was more square, you're able to come up with an efficient plan that you could actually live in. So my big idea is for as much as we're all trying to always be different with all the amount of competition out there, just still try to design buildings from the inside out so the spaces work. Thanks very much.